Hey guys, this is Battalion Clash Gaming. I'm here to showcase to you guys our recent war against Santa Cruz Boy. So you can see we able to three star their number one and almost three star this base right here. It was actually uh, an easy base, but we ran out of time. Both infernos were set on single. This one right here was scout like two times, and I guess every single corner has like a black bomb. So just in case, in case you do a queen walk, be able to. Uh, destroy your healer at least one of them so we tried this out this side right here and it was like it worked best i think it's also best to actually attack from this side start from right here and then go meet in the middle but instead it's like you chose to attack on this side right here um this one right here uh it was a really good attack just a little bit of a what do you call it adjustment because usually when you run out of time, as you can see, it's like a three star. All you need to do is make a little adjustment in your attacks. Like this one right here, it could have uh, probably not used the rage spell right there. Could that actually wasted the uh, rage spell? And could actually use a bring extra rage spell and just one heal spell because uh, you'll see as it goes on. Like right here, it could have released the kill squad a little bit earlier. She could have used the one rage right there so you already he's already out of a, i'm already out of a rage spell on this one right here i wasn't able to rage uh use the rage spell in the core where i'm supposed to because i wasted it on that uh first first one you can see right there you get one extra uh heal spell that's lingering around and could i probably use uh something for this si side right here like I was saying earlier, if they could attack like from outside the both and goes in and then go to the core, I mean, probably this base would have been three starred. Oh, as you can see, 84%, but you got the healers and the bowlers, and nothing really, nothing really to stop them. Um, go back. Number one base is actually pretty easy to three star, even though he was max. He was set up with this type of base. I usually three star this base right here, just like what happened on this one. But sometimes they're like really tricky. They're all like a giant bombs, like somewhere like this one right here was also scouted. The giant bomb was set up right here. I was planning attack, planning to attack on this side right here, but the clan castle is over there, so it was actually a good option to actually start over there. Our, our guys are actually good at scouting the bases. We're able to find out that he's got a pretty potent uh, clan castle. Um, they brag, baby drag and two Valkyries and you know wizards and baby dragon. You gotta be careful with those because uh, when once they uh, uh, you know get attached to your queen, they're pretty much your queen is in trouble. That one uh got a you know level of twenty five queen. This one right here is able to uh probably I could have dropped like the rage spell a little bit over so you know could have my troops could have benefited from that. But it's okay though they all went in the middle like most of them and able to crush this base like really easy. See that's what I was talking about like the giant bombs in the middle like uh most of my troops are just, like gone like half of them already. So well, it's really ideal for some of the guys to score base bases with the giant bombs in there, but also bad at the same time though, because you can use a bowler attack. This this was scouted good, and there was you can tell that there was no giant bombs in here. They're all in the middle, and the bad thing is like because you can use bowlers on this, and it would just the bowlers would just go around, you know, get the space. What you need to do is rage them, and pretty much wreck the space from the outside. That's one thing the bad about square bases is like there's like probably I think I've seen three different ways to actually three star a base like this. I got lucky on this one right here because the queen I was able to save the ability, and as you can see, the uh, queen was able to uh, stomp this base really easy. And also the archer tower right there is an MVP. And we're gonna go over a tunnel nine attack. I think that one is a cleanup, I think. 
No, that wasn't it. Well, that wasn't a cleanup. That was a first attack. Oh no, that one right there is a. Uh, I think this is a low level base. Oh no, low level walls but high level uh, defense. He said, "Go va bo uh, boho." Pretty common attack now these days. Pretty potent. This type of base is actually this is perfect because square bases are uh, so easy to funnel. Just like what happened here. Everything was dropped perfect. Golem was working on the other side and tanking while the wizard is actually working on the top left. And then hogs will come in from the other side. So all the all the troops will merge in this area right here. So it's perfect to actually drop a heal spell. Like where all some of the troops are actually benefit like from that king. Uh, this one right here was a fresh hit. Do you know there was a skeleton traps on that corner? It's always good to ha have a fresh hit, like hitting a base. Season attack, and uh, I was able to scout a tunnel 10 using this account. That's how I found out that some of the black bombs are on the outside for that uh, number two base. And we go over to our tunnel eight attack. This one right here is using a just simple go go ho. Pretty weird base. Everything was scattered, but as you can see, even though we're everything was scattered, it seems like the potential double giant bomb right here. Still able to take on this base. This is like really bad. You're supposed to have this in the middle somewhere in the base. It's for your for the, just in case there's a hog attacker it'll be pretty hard to heal once they're being hit by another defense building and if they're next to the wizard tower they're able to actually probably destroy the, the hogs just like right there so yep Uh, this one right here, our tunnel. This was a cleanup attack by number one. I'm, not, I'm just gonna ignore that. Our number four did not attack, so we kick her out. Bye. This one right here was perfect for hogs. You can see no sets of uh, traps like spring or giant bomb in, inside. So all you need to do is actually send your hogs. I'm going to start using like a uh, one poison spell on the CC now because it seems like when I attack and fail, I'm going to use my talent attack. Using the hogs, the skeletons are basically destroying my hogs. I think just like this one right here, almost destroyed all of the hogs. This was good though that the hogs actually split and is able to actually manage to uh, save a lot of them. That's one thing, a good thing about the surgical hog attack is actually you'll be able to serve, save more hogs. But this one right here I think it's just a single drop. But because of that split, most of them actually got saved because all the defense are going down at the same time almost. Boom. Giant bombs on the outside is just stupid, but sometimes it works. It actually gets your uh, attention because you have to use the heal spell like really early. I guess it's kind of smart. Zombie is able to three star this base like really easy. This is like a tunnel eight with tunnel seven defense using a dragon attack. Um, so you can see all the air defense are actually really close to the border of the outside. That's really easy for a dragon and balloon attack.
and I think this is our last attack book. Tunnel eight. Yep. Same thing. Using the dragon attack. This guy's got the level five air defense. Another typical dragonflower base. If this is like a tunnel eight architar and air defense. Probably the traps just be a lot harder, but as you can see, it was way overpowered. It's probably got like nine dragons left. Like, uh, I can't even count the shadows. There's one thing about my teammates sometimes they're not watching out for it's like the builder huts. That's how usually the attack fails because you don't get the builder hut first. Uh, I think that is it. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. And share and subscribe. Thank you.